one of the Choosing Wisely recommendations that's come up on a number of what we call our physician specialty lists. So these are lists of groups of specialists get together and decide what are the top five things um, that we as a profession or as a group of physicians decide uh, won't add value uh, and that we should probably question before we go ahead and do them. And one of the recommendations that's come up on multiple lists, including the Canadian Society for Anesthesia, um, the primary care physicians and the surgeons has been don't do unnecessary uh, testing such as blood work prior to low risk uh, non-cardiac surgery. So these sorts of low risk procedures are things like cataract surgery, um, colonoscopies, uh, other sorts of uh, very minor uh, procedures like carpal tunnel surgery. Unnecessary blood testing prior to low-risk procedures has been shown to really not add value um, in terms of um, providing added benefit to either preventing um, a complication of surgery or even adding uh, beneficial clinical information to the doctor. Uh, so it really hasn't been shown in, uh, you know, by many groups uh, to be beneficial. But it can be harmful. So, for example, um, you know, it, there's obviously the discomfort of having to go in and get blood work, uh, which many patients don't want. Uh, secondly, uh, sometimes this can lead to delays in surgeries. For example, if a patient has an abnormal blood test that wasn't expected, uh, this can lead to delays in potentially needed surgery. Um, it can also lead to, uh, you know, a significant amount of patient anxiety because of, uh, you know, any testing results. It in and of itself can be really expensive. So, for example, even though an individual blood test isn't very expensive, you know, there are over 300,000 surgeries or of these type that are done per year in Ontario alone. So, you know, even little amounts of money add up. And then also this can lead to what we call downstream testing. So if, for example, somebody who doesn't need uh, blood work gets blood work and some abnormal result comes up, that might be a real abnormality or might be what we call a false positive, a problem with a test. This can lead to more expensive and more invasive uh, other tests to sort of sort out what that abnormality is. And that can all you know, create anxiety, potentially cause complications and increase costs of the health system. So the key findings of our study uh, were in 120 hospitals in the province of Ontario. Uh, we, between 2008 and 2013, about 30% of patients had um, blood work prior to um, one of these low-risk procedures. So what we found uh, is though, although the provincial average uh, of blood work prior to low-risk surgery was about 30%, in fact, this variability was uh, extremely large and, you know, went from anywhere around 3% to over 90% uh, from hospital to hospital across the 119 hospitals that we study. And so what we then wanted to look at is whether or not there were any patient factors uh, uh, that might have, um, you know, led more blood work to be ordered at one hospital versus another. And what we did, what we found when we controlled for a number of patient factors and including hospital factors was in fact that, you know, if you, a patient going to one hospital versus another hospital was 2.4 times more or less likely to get blood work at one hospital versus another, even when you controlled for all of these patient factors. There are over 300,000 of these ambulatory surgeries that happen per year. And so, um, you know, this sort of uh, lab testing done that many times uh, has a cumulative effect. Also importantly, uh, beyond the individual cost of the test is the potential costs or, and downstream consequences of uh, these tests. So for example, if a patient gets a blood, a blood test that might be slightly abnormal, it might lead to a cascade of other testing that both causes a cost to the system, but also potentially could cause patient harm.